So, yesterday, the Hollywood Reporter broke the story that Captain America 4 has found its director. So, let's talk about this. I have the article up here. I think this camera angle might make it easier for me to read this and look you guys at the same time, purely because I won't have to uh, turn my head as much and I can kind of read this and talk. So, it says, Captain America 4 finds its director in filmmaker Julius Ona. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm really sorry if I mispronounced it, but we have, move that. Captain America 4 has a director. Nigerian-American filmmaker Julius Ona, perhaps best known for helming the 2018 thriller The Cloverfield Paradox, will direct the fourth installment of the Captain America film franchise for Marvel Studios. First thing, it's really funny to put Nigerian and Captain America in the same sentence. I think it's fine. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm very excited to see what he does with the character. He's Nigerian-American, but it's just funny to hear Captain America and Nigerian filmmaker. I just get a kick out of that. Anyway, second thing, it says he directed the Cloverfield Paradox. A lot of people are uh, worried this means Captain America 4 is going to be trash. Um, I'm going to say don't worry because he's directed other stuff. I have not seen his latest film. It's called Loose or... I, I'm going to pronounce it like that until I know how it's actually pronounced. I've seen a lot of people saying that film is good. So, there you go. Also, James Gunn wrote 2002 Scooby-Doo movie. So, John, John Favreau made Cowboys and Aliens. There, there's all kinds of bad movies that amazing filmmakers have made. Um, I mean, look at the Russo Brothers. Besides the Marvel movies, people don't really tend to like a lot of their movies, but they made some great Marvel movies. So let's have faith. Let's not complain just yet, okay? Um, and then it is written by Malcolm Spellman, who was the head writer on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so they brought him into this. Anthony Mackie's starring in the feature, reprising his longtime Marvel character of Sam Wilson, but not, however, Wilson's longtime alter ego and Captain America's sidekick Falcon. That is thanks to the events of 2021's Marvel Disney Plus series Falcon Winter Soldier, which saw Wilson, after much self-doubt, finally accept the shield and mantle of Captain America. It's not known what the paths with the character will be next, but something thought-provoking is likely. Malcolm Spellman, the creator and head writer of Winter Soldier, is petting the script Falcon and the Winter Soldier, not the movie Winter Soldier, is petting the script Dallin Moosen, who was a staff writer on Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So... There you go. They also mentioned a few things just into the background of uh, Julius Ona and whether or not Chris Evans will be in it. Um, and then going into background on him doing Cloverfield and that 2019 film he did. And wow, that's a really good cast in that. Naomi Watts, Tim Roth, Kelvin Harrison Jr., and Octavia Spencer and debuted at Sundance Garter 3 in the Spirit Award nominations, including Best Director. See? Don't judge someone by one of their works. Just about every director on the planet has made a bad movie. There's a few they haven't, but no no one's perfect, okay? So don't expect them to be perfect, but there you guys go. Captain America 4, not sure when it's coming out. I'm assuming 2024, unless they really get jiggy with it and release it fall of next year. That would be nuts. I don't think that, but what do you guys think of this news, and are you excited for Captain America 4? What are your thoughts on this guy as a filmmaker? If you've seen, it, seen any of his movies, let me know down in the comments below. Also, leave a like on this video, subscribe, click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from the MCHQ. This is going to be it. Have a great day, guys.